What's good YouTube? We're back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to dominate with your shot creator in NBA 2K19. So what does that mean exactly? I'm going to be showing you guys all of the moves that I use. I'm going to show you guys how to do every important shot creator move and also when you should use them. So can I get, I just need one favor while you guys, while I go ahead and show you guys all my animations, I just need you guys to do me one favor. Go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel if you're new. And also, if you would like a more advanced tutorial than this, because this tutorial is advanced, but I can go even more in depth on exactly when I like to use these moves and what combos I like to do with all of the moves I'm going to show you guys today, then I need 1,000 likes. So normally I don't shoot that high, but my last animations video got like 3,000. So I'm asking for less than half. So I know this is a milestone that y'all can definitely hit. So I'm going to just ask for 1K likes for a more advanced tutorial where I'll show you guys all my combos, everything that I know how to do, how I like to do them, all, all my good stuff, okay? So real quick, I'm going to show you guys the animations. And after this, we're going to jump in that mock court and we're going to get right to it. So I'll see y'all there. All right, so first we're going to start off with something super simple. We're going to start off with the dribble pull up. Now this is a move that every shot creator needs to know how to do. All right, now this is the ultimate bailout move. So if you only know how to do one move, it's got to be this one. So to do a dribble pull up, which I'm sure a lot of you already do, basically you're just holding the left stick in whichever direction you plan on going, whether it's right, left, or sometimes forward. You got to be careful if it's forward because sometimes you will, uh, you'll go all the way to the rim. You got to stop like right before the free throw line if you want to do a pull up, you know, uh, straight forward towards the goal. But basically you hold the left stick in the direction you want to go. You hold R2, so you're you're sprinting or running in a direction, and then you're just gonna hold square and release it at the timing of the shot. And that's literally all you have to do. So like I said, if you only know how to do one move, it's gotta be this one. Now, next we're gonna get a little bit more advanced, and I'm gonna show you guys how to do the spin jumper. Now, this is also a very important move, and it's also another great bailout move if you ever get stuck or if a defender stops you from going to the rim. So to do this, it's kind of the same as the dribble pull-up. You're moving the left stick in whichever direction you want to go left right forward hold it in that direction you're going to hold r2 to sprint and then you're going to double tap square and then on that second tap you're going to hold and release the timing all right so just look at this i'm going to slow it down for you guys so i'm going to run forward holding r2 i double tap square on that second tap i'm going to hold it and then release it perfectly so it's green all right it's a very very good move actually so I'll show you guys some examples right here. See right here, I hit him with the street ball move and then I, I, I get stuck in my tracks. I can't go nowhere. So I hit the, the spin jumper and he wasn't ready for it. Now you can also do this where you see a space on the floor, but there's a defender in front of you or there's two defenders uh, in between. So you're trying to split them. So you run to that spot, double tap and you spin into the open space on the floor and it's great. Or in this case right here, I was kind of getting double team. So I felt like they would, I would be able to split them. So I hit the spin move, split the defense and score. It's, it's a really great move. It's also a great bailout move. So that's a little, that one's a little bit more advanced. All right. So next we have the hop step jumper. Now this one kind of looks like the step back, but it's a completely different move. So for instance, to do this move, I'm going to move my, my left stick to the right. I'm going to hold R2. I'm going to tap square. And after I tap square, I'm going to hold it and then release it. All right, so after you tap it the first time, you gotta hold it and then time the jump shot. So to the left, like if I'm going towards the baseline, I would have hold the left stick to the left, hold R2, tap square, and after right after you tap it, hold it and time your shot, all right? So this move is, it's a little bit more complicated than the last two, and it can get confused with the, with the step back, because the step back is kind of done the same way, but it's different. So I'm gonna slow it down, all right? I'm holding, the left stick to the right, I'm holding R2, I tap square. After I pick the ball up, I'm gonna hold square and release it for the green, all right? So it this move can get confused with the step back, like I said, so you might do this sometimes and be thinking that you're gonna get a step back. And if you notice that you're not about to create that much space, you can either continue on with the shot if you have the room to do it, or you can, I guess, just not hold square after you tap it, and that way you don't shoot it on accident. But if you are trying to do this move on purpose, it's a great move to do. 
especially if you're a shot creator in takeover that's probably the best time to do it all right next up we have the most advanced move and that is the step back so to perform a step back you're gonna hold r2 or rt whatever you want to call it you're gonna move the left stick in the direction that you want to go while still holding r2 all right now after that you're gonna flick the left stick down and release it you're gonna tap square and then hold square so you after you release that stick you got to tap square fast like it should be almost simultaneously so i'm gonna show you guys right there slow it down i'm gonna talk about it one more time you're gonna be going say for this instance i'm going to the right i'm holding r2 moving that left stick to the to the right i'm flicking that left stick down right after i release it i tap square and then hold square for the release okay so if you do need a, a rundown of that be sure to go ahead and, and go back and watch that part again now this is obviously the most uh i would say the most difficult shot creator move to learn but it's definitely one of the best ones because you create so much more space than you do on the hop step and honestly especially if you have this in takeover this move is basically unguardable so like i said very advanced but go back and rewind if you need the help All right, next up we have the standing hop jumper. Now this is one of the more simple moves, but I'm gonna go ahead and break it down for you guys really fast. So to do this move, you don't touch R2 at all. You're gonna stand in one spot, hold the left stick in the direction you wanna go, tap square. After you see your mob player pick up the ball, you're gonna hold square and then time the release of the shot. So for instance, in this slow-mo, I'm holding the left stick to the left, I tap square, I, then I hold square once I see he picks up the ball and I release the shot. Now you can also use this move to fake out your defender into thinking you're going a certain way and you can snatch it back. So you see right there in, in that last clip, I was going forward. I, I moved the stick back. I let go of R2 before I perform the move. That's a very key part of it. You got to let go of R2, move the stick where you want to go, tap square and then shoot the ball. It's a great way to fake out your defenders and they never know which way you're going. For our next move, we have the floater, which is probably the most simple move. So I'm going to be going through it pretty fast. So to do a floater, you're going to hold R2 down. You're going to move the left stick towards the goal. And once you get around the free throw area, you're going to let go of R2. And right after, you're going to move that right stick down and use that to time your shot. So if you have on two shot meters like me, you're going to probably want to look at the one at the bottom more so than the one at the top. So real quick again, hold R2, move the left stick towards the goal, let go of R2 once you hit that free throw line and you're going to move the right stick down and you're going to release the stick at the height of the shot. All right, it's a very simple move, but it's also, it's pretty important. So next in line, we have the post fadeaway. So this is another easy move that I'm going to go through pretty quickly. You're just going to hold left trigger or L2, point the left stick in the direction that you want to go, whether it's left or right, and you're just going to hold square and release it at the height of the fadeaway. So once again, holding left trigger in this, I guess, example, I'm fading to the left. So I'll hold left trigger. I move the left stick to the left. I hold square and then release it at the perfect timing, which I'm, I mean, I'm not doing that because I'm throwing up bricks, but you get the point. So every shot creating build to the furthest of my knowledge has at least a 70 post fadeaway so it's not as consistent as it would be for a post score but it's still a very reliable move but i pretty much only recommend doing it on smaller defenders all right so now we're going to switch it up a little bit and i'm going to show you all some moves to help you get to the rim so first off we're starting with the spin layup and dunk so to do the spin layup you're just going to hold right trigger move the left stick towards the goal and double tap square now i'm gonna slow it down in a second to show you guys how to do the spin dunk because that's a little bit more complicated so to pull that one off you're just doing r2 moving the left stick towards the goal and after you tap square the first time you're gonna hold square and r2 at the same time so i'm gonna slow it down real quick show you guys how to do it hold r2 move the left stick forward tap square then hold square and hold R2 at the same exact time. And then that's how you do the dunk. So I like to do this move to basically split defenders. Now, either way, it depends on how close I am to the goal. 
So if I know I'm not close enough to the goal, I won't try to pull off the dunk. Either way, it won't let you if you're not close enough. But for the most part, I use it to try to get a defender out of my way. I try to spin off his body if there's contact in between us and dunk. Or I split in between two people and then finish the move. So it's another one of those fantastic moves to help you score. Now I'm going to show y'all another advanced move and I'm going to show y'all how to do the Euro step layup and the Euro step dunk. So to do the layup, you're going to sprint towards the goal and double tap square while moving the left stick towards the off ball hand. So by off ball hand, it just means you're going to move the stick towards the hand that was not dribbling the ball before you started the gather. So you just got to keep that in mind because if you don't do this correctly, you'll end up doing a cradle layup and those aren't really great for shot creators. So to do the dunk, you're doing the same thing, but after you tap square that first time, you're gonna hold R2 square while holding that left stick towards the off ball hand. So like I said, it's an advanced move. It's not super easy to master or to pull off. I don't do it that often, but if you do, you can expect pretty good results. So last but not least, we have the pro hop layup and dunk. So to do this one, all you're doing is sprinting towards the goal. Make sure you're holding that left stick towards the goal at all times. You're gonna tap square and then hold and release square to time the layup. And then for the dunk, you're sprinting towards the goal. Make sure that left stick is pointed forward. That's very important. You're gonna tap square and after you hop, you're just gonna immediately R2 square and then you should go up for the dunk animation. So this one's great for splitting people, just like the, the spin layup is. Sometimes you can hop through them. And also if you see space towards the rim, but you're not sure if you'll go up for the dunk, you can hop towards it. And then if nobody comes, then you can go into the R2 square and then get your dunk off. There you have it y'all. Those are all of the moves that you need to dominate as a shot creator in NBA 2K19. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. Now there was only one move I left out of this tutorial and that's solely because I made a whole separate video for it a couple months ago so I'll leave a link to it in the description make sure you check that video out because that's probably one of the more OP moves that you can do as a shot creator in this game um, I hope like I said man I just hope this was a really good walkthrough tutorial whatever you want to call it but honestly the best advice that I can give you guys is to practice these moves at the park in the rec in pro-am because just doing them in your my court doesn't really show you when it's best to use them and when it's not. So the best way is to practice by doing them yourself. Make sure you learn your releases. Make sure you just know what you're doing out there as a shot creator. Because this is one of the best builds on the game to make. And it's one of the more, I would say, the most fun to use because it can score so creatively. So hope you guys enjoyed this one. Like, comment, subscribe if you're new. I'm still on that 97 overall grind. I'm almost there, and I will have another video coming for you guys very soon. I'll catch y'all later. Peace.